Hello and welcome back to Obscure. Currently stuff in my face is fucking Dorito. Cause it skipped dinner. And I'm fucking hungry as shit, man. Don't judge. Alright, last time where we left off, we were doing some shit. And now we're gonna do some more shit. Let's do it. Up, oh, up, oh, serious resistance here. Ashley, you wanna fucking do something? Ashley, where the fuck is your gun? Ashley. Don't be fucking useless now. There you go. Why aren't you using that? Come on, you're the tough one. Dude likes to show off her panties, I guess. Oh, oh god, is this gonna be a maze? That's just what I fucking need, a maze. Alright, I guess we'll start at the end and work our way down. So this must be his lab. Interesting. I found a first aid kit. And we're doing really good on first aid kits now. That's great. We got a switch. We need something to activate the mechanism. Yup, we got ourselves a note. January 18th, 1903. Leonard seems to have handled the treatment reasonably well. No special symptoms. March 24, 1903. After a few days, his skin is covered with melanoma. The tumors are not metastasizing very much, but the large number is causing is causing a worsening in his general condition. March 30th, 1903. The hypersensitivity of his skin to UV radi radiation and the first lesions resulting from this are similar to the xeroderma pigmentosium, an inherited illness. This illness is due to a mutation of the gene that projects, protects against skin cancers. But in theory, this illness is hereditary. April 18th, 1903. Henceforth, Leonard will protect himself from the sun, but the damage is done. The light rays have caused an acute reaction in the Mortifa gene inserted into his system. We did not foresee this because our previous guinea pigs were made in their cages. At present, the entire surface of Leonard's skin is suffering profound mutations. May 25th, 1903. The mutations appear to have slowed down, but they are, however, spectacular, and I ask myself how he can survive in this condition. The wounds have transformed into scabs that look as if they will remain like the bark of a tree. The damage to his skeleton and metabolism appear irreversible. His temporal lobes and his upper membranes are the most affected parts. June 30th, 1904. His condition has stabilized. His mental condition concerns me as much as the appearance he has taken on. If human appearance can still be spoken on in this case. The only hope to cure him now is to have a new guinea pig Sir, who have suffered in the same way, in order to test a therapy aimed at eradicating the gene and returning the subject to his initial condition. September 24th, 1926. This research is very long, as well as this note. I will not live long enough to achieve my goal, unless I inject myself with the treatment and remain in the shadows until the serum is discovered. Ah. So Friedman's been alive this whole time, working on that serum. That explains why I've never seen him in the light. Oh, this looks like a fun room. If you are reading this letter, you have probably been, as I was, locked up by Herbert Friedman. I can't get out, but you may be luckier than me. I'm afraid I will soon be used as a guinea pig like all the other students. If you do get out, I have put together, in a safe hidden in the dormitory, all the proof necessary to bring down Friedman. Find the... The note cuts off. Okay, Stan has it a lot easier. Oh! Awesome. Double shotguns. Oh, God. Oh. Is this a new monster? Yes. Oh god, no. Big boy. Big boy. We got ourselves a big boy. No. 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 All right. Good job. We took that down real fast. 
I said we took it down, game. For God's sakes, turn the music down. Oh my god, a light grenade. Right, with the dual shotguns, no one can take us down. Oh man, I swear to god, I'm in fucking Coraline here. Ooh. I did it. Yeah, you did, Ashley. Yeah, you did. Kenny! There you are. I'm waiting for you. Kenny! Get me out of here. Friedman's on his way. You alright? You look messed up. I'll be better once I'm out of here. Come on, hurry up! I got a plan. It's Friedman! Crap! Oh god. Oh no. Oh, game over, guys. Game over. Fuck. I'm just gonna shove some Doritos in my throat. <sighs> oh shit, gotta escape prison. If Shannon's out. So you've been captured too. So wait, did they take all my shit? Yo, what is this thing? Bar with a hook. Oh yeah, they did take all my stuff. Oh perfect. Just when I had a decent stockpile, now I got all, got to start all over again. Can I? Oh. Hey, I switched to Kenny. Sweet. I see some cutters that could come in handy once we find a way out of here. Hmm. If only I could reach that electrical control box. Huh, if only we had something we could use to reach. If only if only. Oh, hey! There are the rest of the people. Yo, Kitty, you all right, man? We gotta move out of injections of that stuff. If the light hits us, we'll be transformed. Don't worry about it, man. I'll fix everything. I got cutters. Let's go search the, the rooms. Infirmary. We've gotta see Wixen. She's nuts. There's I don't no trust choice. her. We only have till sunrise. After that, we're done for. Oh shit. So now we can't even escape if we wanted to. We gotta find a cure. And get back upstairs for the nurse, too. That's just perfect. With these cutters, we can open up all the big padlocks. Oh, sweet. I like that. I think, right? Yeah, there we go. I recovered our stuff. Okay, it is. Oh. I have everything. Okay, so now I have to give everyone back their stuff. Perfect. Oh shit, okay. I thought I needed to move the box, but I think I just need to use the hook here. I still have that. Do I still have the hook? Yeah, there it is. There it is. That does it. Oh man, it's about time. Hey, Miss Wixen. But y you've been infected. That bastard Friedman did it. Herbert, you've gone too far. You need to find the antidote. Friedman has an antidote? Where? In the basement. The lab. The big door. In his lab? Right? But how do we get there? The other entrance. The gardens. An entrance in the gardens? A different one? Leonard. <laughs> Don't let him go. <laughs> Forgive us. Wixen. <laughs> 
Wixen. <laughs> well, shit. Up, oh, time to loot the corpse. Sure doesn't look too oh. comfy in here. I do not yeah, like the sound of that. Smells like a morgue. Oh, oh god. Oh god, I can't see what it is. Time to use a med kit. Fucking shit. Never felt better in my life. Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say. Holy crap, this place has really seen better days. Jesus Christ. Well, they said this place was abandoned, so I guess that makes sense! Oh, no! Man, they really let this place get out of hand. I mean, I know it was closed and all the students for a while, but... Newspaper cuttings referring to the disappearances... Oh, God. Is there... Is it, looks like there's a homeless person living in here for some time. Or something. You know, come to think of it, very few high schools have dormitories, so that's... That you know in itself is a bit strange. Mm. I got this. I can pick this thing. Oh great! Now the music is overlapping itself, and I just picked that lock for no reason. Great. Oh, I can't believe I almost missed that. Sweet. Oh my god. Yep. Music still annoying. In case you guys forgot. Damn it, Stan. Stop getting so fucked up. If Shannon were here, she'd know what to do. Well, it's kind of obvious what to do. I mean, there's no puzzle or anything. Calm down. It doesn't seem that strong. Oh! Oh, oh fuck. Oh, God, they really let this place get out of hand, didn't they? Shit. Piece of shit school. You need to spend less money on torturing students for your experiments and more money on your infrastructure. I mean, seriously, man. Oh. Hey, buddy. You okay? Oh, he's not attacking us. Well, he looks like shit, so best to put him out of his misery. You gonna love this? Come on! Well, that was easy. Oh, hey. Oh, sorry, you gotta die too. I'm committing a lot of murder in this game. I don't know how I feel about that. That looks very suspicious. Can I break this down? Yeah. Uh, well, not unless I have a sledgehammer. Aha! Here's something. Alright, sweet. I guess that somehow did more damage than my baseball bat, but... Oh well, I'm not complaining. Office of Technology of the Congress. Dear Sirs, the following conference in Seattle where your publications, in particular your work, entitled Internal Life is Possible, were the subject of much discussion. The experts examined your research, as it was generally accepted by the use of your knowledge that cannot be controlled, nor can the ecological, social, and ethical consequences of your discoveries in the field life be measured. We have to reach a decision on the maintenance or not of the research budgets. What safeguards could be opposed against the eugenic temptation foreseen by your hypotheses? Sacrificing the enrichment of breeding for the benefit of an artificial and very, certainly contagious life that cannot receive our support. The contribution of your work to the knowledge of individual characteristics is one thing, but modifying the transmission of these characteristics by such inhuman means is another. As a consequence, the Office of Technology of Congress, in agreement with the International Scientific Communi Commission, has issued a report ruling on your expulsion for life from this community. 
we will require you to legislate on the archiving or destruction of your research on cellular prolongation. Cellular, I cannot say cellular, because I am stupid. In conclusion, no assistance will be allocated to you. Your equipment and all your work will be confiscated and resold. Sworn state agents will arrive on the 8th of October to seal up the premises. As regards Leafmore High School, a commission will decide on the necessity of closing it down or not. Cordially yours. No one. I read that as up cordially yours. <laughs> a box. Very heavy. Oh. Well. Is it like a safe? Oh, maybe I can drop this on the, uh... Yeah, yeah, I think I could drop this down the chimney flue. The safe has fallen inside. Alright, well, I guess that was the solution. I don't know how I missed that, but that's frightening. I guess I'll keep that. Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh, God. This is just what I needed. Another one of these bosses. Oh, God, I hate this shit. She gets invincible when she puts her hand up. That grenade do no damage? What the fuck? I swear to God, Kenny, if you die, I will never forgive you. Alright, fucking finally, Jesus. What do we got? A map of the basement. That's actually not that useful since the basement's so fucking small. But uh, okay, sure, why not? This must be the key to the office in the library. Oh, all right, we're getting somewhere. 1969. My name is Alan Gardner, and this is my diary. Twenty-six. I have now counted twenty-six cases of missing persons connected with the school. Strange that the police have never come up with anything about it. Our school was founded in 1902 by twin brothers Herbert and Leonard Friedman. Herbert is still our principal. That would mean he's at least 100 years old. I just found their birth certificates. Judging by that How date, have they stayed so young for so long? I found this photo of a woman with Herbert, or Leonard. She looks a lot like Ms. Wixon. Photos According from the late marriage century. Ms. Wixon and Leonard got married in 1885. Leonard was last seen in 1921. He supposedly died in a plane crash, but they never found his body. Or even the plane. I found some articles about the Friedman brothers and their experiments. Said to be so original that they went beyond In 1890, human they went on an expedition to Africa to find medicinal plants. They stayed for six months and brought back a large number of hitherto unknown varieties. One strange specimen, Mortophilia, became the basic subject of their research. Photos of disfigured people in his office. I absolutely must find his lab. Underneath the high school, in the basement, I managed to follow him unnoticed through the gardens to the basement of their house. I searched the lab, and according to Friedman's notes, the anti-aging serum is yet to be perfected. Photos of half-human creatures bear witness to the failed attempts. Pro prolonged exposure to the sun results in mutation. There's also a big door in one room. I don't know what's behind it, but I think I understand how to open it. There's a mechanism with little statues. I've seen three of them around the library and uh, one in the gardens. Tomorrow I'll go and try to see what's going on behind that door. Oh boy, looks like we're heading to the library again. And on that note, ladies and germs, ladies and germs, that's what I'm going to land on. That's what we're going to end our video on today, so make sure to tune in next time when uh, we do that thing. Stay subscribed, folks.